Hi Taurus, Power and Light Tarot coming at you with your love reading for the month of August. I hope you guys are all well. This is your love reading. What are their true intentions in love with you? And uh, don't forget your moon rising and Venus videos. You can check your chart at cafeastrology.com in case you are unaware of those signs. You're going to get a far more complete picture by watching those other videos. Okay, let's get into the reading here. The bottom of the deck, Taurus, is the devil. All right, uh, and the Empress here. I feel like this is you here. Uh, could be here. It could also be a Libra here. Um, there could be a Capricorn here maybe, but we're not going to talk signs too much. I feel like this is probably way more energy here. Uh, let's see. If they keep repeating, then, you know, it will. It can be those signs, right? From the Angel Tarot, we have the Knight of Wands, the Hermit, and the Five of Swords. There's definite loss here. There could have been manipulation here, right? The Five of Swords um, uh, is showing up. It's actually showing up in your current energy in the reverse here, okay? I like the picture uh, much better than this uh, this particular deck here. It's it's nice because it's full of angels, but uh, I prefer the, uh, you know, these type of things here. <laughs> the actual images, right? Uh, kind of, to me, it's more colorful. But here, the Nine of Wands, you know, uh, I feel like there, there could be a fire sign here. Let's get into the reading, though, but I feel like there is definite loss here for sure. Five of Swords, right? There could be a Virgo here, too, but let's get into it, and we'll find out what that is about. There could also be a possible, you know, maybe a player here, right, with the Five of Swords with loss, and the Nine of Wands can be a player. It, yeah, even in the upright can be a player. Okay. Current energy, Five of Swords in the reverse. Why does Taurus have the Five of Swords in the reverse? And we have the Queen of Queen of Swords and the Empress. Okay. So I feel like, you know, uh, Taurus, I feel like this is you, right? The Empress showing up twice now already. Um, it could just be you here. Uh, let's see as we go. I feel like this is you, of course, right, in your current energy. But I feel like, you know, uh, I feel like there was already some loss here. There could have been uh, maybe some cheating here. I see the Three of Wands here showing up, and the Three of uh, uh, Pentacles, rather, um, and some other cards here. But let's see as we get into the reading. But I feel like somebody is, you know, kind of demanding some answers here. Uh, maybe about a, it could be about some manipulation or some kind of games that were played here. Could just be, you know, uh, poor treatment, like, you know, or, or it could be cheating as well. King of Swords in the reverse, why does, why do you desire, why does Taurus desire the King of Swords in the reverse? I have a Taurus moon, so this is, uh, uh, I'm kind of interesting, interested myself. Six of Pentacles, uh, King of Swords in the reverse is about somebody who is usually lacking integrity uh, at the highest level or at the lowest level. I don't know how you want to, however you see it here. <laughs> but it is about a liar here. Uh, it can also be, this is about, you could be wanting to make a decision here. It could be hard for you to make a decision here about a third party here or about just to have not control, but, you know, your fair share, right? To have, you know, some balance in a union. Let's get one more card. Why would Taurus, uh, why would Taurus desire the Six of Pentacles? You could be also, for some of you guys, um, if you are seeing a water sign, if your person is a water sign, I'm not, an air, an air sign, sorry, you guys. If your person is an air sign, uh, they could be King of Swords showing up in the reverse in your desired position, right? Could be. Temperance is here. Wow, I, I feel like this, this reading is going to have a lot of players in this reading. Because the Knight of Wands is over here next to the Hermit with the Five of Swords. So I feel like this is definitely third party already. Five of Swords twice, Three of Pentacles here. Yeah, definitely, okay. Now, you could be wanting, yeah, you could definitely be wanting balance with somebody, uh, maybe, who was a liar. That could be the case here, okay. Or you could just be maybe also wanting... Um, you could be wanting to make a decision about them, but maybe it is a little tough here, okay? There could be a Sag uh, involved here, because Temperance and the Knight of Wands are both here. Let's see as we go, though, okay? Now, the Three of Pentacles is how you see them. Why does Taurus see them that way? The Moon is here. 
and we have the Page of Cups. I feel like you're seeing them as open to love with a third party. Yeah, definitely. And having a secret. Okay, the energies can go both ways. All right, Taurus, it could be you too, but um, so far, yeah. <laughs> page of Pentacles is their current energy here. Uh, okay, why do they have the Page of Pentacles? Why does Taurus's person have that Page of Pentacles? Six of Cups, Knight of Cups, wow. So I feel like your person, they could be having a new start here with somebody from the past, or they could just see the value, right, the worth here in a situation. This is their current energy here, so, you know, and they have the Knight of Cups. They could be giving love to somebody from the past, maybe, offering their pentacle and their cup at the same time. Could be maybe a small, a small offer with the Page of Pentacles here. But somebody could be offering them something from the past. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Eight of Wands is, um, you know, the Eight of Wands is in their desire position. Going back over here, you guys, this sometimes is a soulmate union. It is uh, in their current energy or it's like a past life person. Uh, it doesn't always have to be just somebody from the past here on earth, uh, although I feel like most of the time it is. Uh, yeah, that, and that what I mean by that is that this could just be somebody from, from the past, from their past. It doesn't have to be uh, necessarily a past life soulmate for them. But they could be, yeah, let's see. Uh, they could also be having a new start with somebody they have kids with, right? The Six of Cups is about, it can be about children, right? Eight of Wands is what they desire. Why do they desire the Eight of Wands? King of Wands, yeah. There's a sad, there's a there's a fire sign here. I feel like it's Sagittarius too. Doesn't have to be though. But the Knight of Wands, Temperance, and now we have the King of Wands here. Uh, yeah, you're dealing with you're most likely a lot of you guys are dealing with the fire sign. Nine of Swords uh, is here. I feel like they want change here and that they're worried here. They want to come out of worry here. They could be a fire sign or it could be about a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sag. The Page of Swords is showing up here, Taurus, for them. This is how they see you, but they're seeing you as the Page of Swords in the reverse. And the Page of Swords in the reverse can be, you know, somebody super immature, sending, you know, kind of immature communication back and forth, maybe. This can also be somebody who cannot get over the past. They can't get over past hurts, past issues, um, why is that? Why do they see Taurus that way, please? They could be seeing you as maybe spying on them in the past here. I feel like they're seeing you as not being able to get over a tower. Yeah, I feel like that's how that is. Uh, Seven of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, they could be embarrassed in a way here. This could also be about past sneaky energy here, but I feel like they're seeing you maybe as, um, Maybe it's having guilt here sometimes. The Five of Cups showing up over here, which is about guilt, okay? It can be uh, regret, which to me is, you know, uh, kind of almost the same thing here. I feel like they're seeing you as, you know, either maybe they can't get over you, though. That could be the case. They can't get over maybe uh, something that you've done here to them or vice versa. I'm seeing it that way, okay? Either way, you guys, death card is the past dynamic. Why is that there for Taurus and their person? Three of Cups, Nine of Wands. So I feel like in the recent past, there was an ending here, right? Yeah, because of a third party, and somebody is wounded here. Somebody is this Nine of Wands, wounded warrior person, guarding their heart and kind of, you know, like, shit, you know, what could happen next here? Uh... Yeah, the Nine of Wands is the person who doesn't trust anybody because they're kind of concerned about, you know, what they're going to have to deal with, uh, you know, next, right? I feel like they are seeing you over here as not being able to get over stuff here, uh, you know, over a tower moment here, possibly, um, because of a third party here. And I feel like because of an ending here. Wow. Wow. There could also be possibly, it's a possible that uh, 
they could be, let's see here, there could be an energy about somebody being guarded, about having a reunion here. I'm not really seeing it like that. I'm seeing it as an ending here because of a third party here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep going here. Five of Cups showing up in the current dynamic. Yeah. See, this is an ending. Fives are endings. They are. Uh, they are endings or crises, right? Which is like a turning point, which is really an ending. It's an ending to a, a turning point. It's like an ending to, you know, an old way of doing things, right? Okay. Five of Cups. Why is that Five of Cups showing up in the current dynamic with Taurus and their person? Hope I didn't call you Aries. With Taurus and their person. Strength card. This could be a Leo here. And we have the Two of Pentacles here. So I feel like currently, you know, uh, somebody is feeling super sad. I feel like somebody could be having regret here. But I feel like there is de definite sadness, and somebody's trying to have courage here. Yeah, because somebody's juggling here, right? See, so yeah, definitely here. Okay. Okay, Taurus, I'm going to be going over to Vimeo to, you know, verify this reading, right? To, you know, kind of, we're going to be talking about the blocks here, the underlying issues here, which can be, you know, telling, right? Also, what they're hiding from you, what they're fearing and their true intentions in love with you on Vimeo. They may not be hiding anything, but I feel like in this reading, for sure they are. Uh, otherwise, it is just the unknown to you, right? And um, the videos are super affordable, Taurus. They are $8.99 to see all of them. If you guys want a private reading, you can get one for $40. And uh, I usually do a reading on your person to kind of get a feel for them. And then I'll do the love reading, you know, with both of your energies. Yeah, so... You're really going to find out uh, what's up with the reading. <laughs> Thank you so much, Taurus.